This is Jared from Commit Quality, and in today's video, we're going to go over dynamic variables in Postman. So a bit of information, Postman uses the Faker library to generate sample data. There's so many different dynamic variables we can use. I'll put a link to, a link to the documentation in the description, then you can basically see how it's used. This is a really quick and easy thing to do. It's very valuable to show you. So let's jump right into it. If you've been following the uh, series along as we go, you will already have this JSON placeholder class Collection created. All I'm going to do is duplicate uh, this request. I'm tell you because we've also got multiple names. Let's just rename this to be in dynamic variables. At the moment, we take in through a path variable of ID. So let's just get rid of this for a minute and we'll just pass through a path variable of one because this is the first place I want to show you where we can use these dynamic variables. If I send this, all we see in is responses returned. Ignore the undefined because that must be a test. Yep, that was a test we copied. So let's just get rid of that in a moment. Uh, if we go back, just hit send now. You're seeing, of course, it's got the one. Now, what if I said every time I make this request, I want to check a different number? Well, Postman makes this really easy for us. All we can say is instead of one, we say squiggly brackets dollar. And in here is a bunch of all the different random things we can do. So like I said, there's a lot of these dynamic variables, but I can search for, if I could spell random int. And if I hover over it, you can see here a random integer between zero and 1000. So this may be perfect for what I want to do. Let's clear the console. And if I hit send now, of course, we might end up having a bad response. The, it might, the request might be bad because the number is too large. But what you're going to see is this number changes each time for us. So I hit send and you can see five, there we are. 404 not found as the status because the ID value is set to 505. I send this again. Let's clear that. Let's send this again. You got 447, 837, 377. So that's a really easy way there that I've just made these unique requests dynamic. Uh, you could use this when you're generating GUIDs, anything else. Nice and easy. And like I said, it is this easy. The only other thing I really want to go through in this video is how you can do it inside your test. Tell you what, we won't use int. We'll use a name instead. So let's set a variable called name. And... To make use of dynamic variables, we need to say pm.variables dot replace in. And this is needed to have access to this faker library. And inside here, all I have to say is what we've done above. So we'll say a random first name. And let's close that off. And let's just do a console.log. And what we should see is a dynamic name each time. So we'll say console.log name. Let's clear this and start again. Hit send. And there we are. Nicole has been generated because that's a random name in this list. Hit send again. And you've got Annalise. Fidel. And it really is as easy as that then. Hit send again. It'll keep changing it. There we are. The name is Bell. And... Of course, you can then use these names and put them into global variables. You can you can basically go through the previous video and then work out how you can say, okay, create me a random name and then input it as a global or collection level variable. Really useful to know, as always. If you do have any questions or comments, please drop it in the comment section below. As always, a like and subscribe is appreciated. Thanks for watching and have a good day.